What's up, everybody? Sparewood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Attack of the Sleepless Nights server. Uh, when we left off, we had gone to the Moon, or Moon. Moon is um, Kerbal. My bad. So sorry. Um, so when we left off, we went to the Moon, and we got um, the schematics for the Tier Two rocket, right? So naturally, you might be wondering, why in, on earth am I coming here? Right? Right. Good for you. That's smart. So the reason that we're... Ooh, ooh, laggy. The reason that we're coming here is I wish to hunt... Or no, not hunt. Capture. Because I was smart and decided to capture a wither skeleton thingy, majigger, whatever they're called. Are those falling sheep? Weird. Um, so yeah, I'm out. I'm out for wither skeletons because they drop necrotic bones. Now, some of you may be wondering, why do you need necrotic bones? Good question. Let me answer it for you. Um, oh, there's one. This might be a quick trip. And swish. Dang it. Woo woo woo. Ooh. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Oh, I'm withered. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not good. No. Not good. Bad. Bad. Bad, bad. Did that hit him? No. Woo! Bring it. Darn, that didn't go very far. Alright, you know what? This has life steal on it. I need to kill that gas. Whew! Bet you didn't see that coming. Whew. Didn't see that coming. Okay, maybe it did. Come here. Well, this was supposed to have life steal on it. That didn't do much stealing of life. Let me try and kill you. Um, so, anyways, I haven't explained my plan. Basically, I have a crap load of the heart things laying around, right? Oh, I hate that these things can fly. This is supposed to have life steal. This much have the the this must must have Ha ha! Did I get him? Yes! I got him. Alright. Eat. So we can survive. Now I gotta figure out where I am. Um alright. Let me back up. Let me try and explain this one more time. Essentially, I know that there's supposed to be bad things on the moon. Well, not on the moon, on Mars, right? I don't want to be attacked by said bad things. Speaking of being attacked, just shot at me. Weird. Alright, anyway. Oh, is it my arrow? <laughs> it keeps falling. That's funny. Um, yeah. Where was I? Basically, what I'm looking at doing is this stuff. I got all of these gem heart thingies, right? Right. But, okay, so in order to use these, you have to make more of these. In order to make these, you need necrotic bone. Makes sense. So essentially what you can do with these, I don't know if I've ever explained this before, but you can put 10 of the red ones and 10 of the yellow ones and they add a heart per canister. So I have three because I have two reds and one yellow, basically, is the, is the point to this. Now, what I don't know is if I hit exact copy, I don't know if I need to do that, so I'm going to turn that off for now and just test this. Um, and what I'm going to do is probably stand back over here and shoot at or kill them in that manner. So what I'm doing is trying to get, um, stuff. Now, okay, let me explain this. Some of you might be wondering, if your goal is to get to Mars, why aren't you making more progress? Well, I have made a lot of progress, actually. So we need a Tier 2 rocket. That's basically all we need. Now, I'm going to try and 
get in touch with Adrian at, at some point and find out exactly what I need to connect to this portal system that he has set up. If I can do that, all I need is a one-way trip. I need to fly out to Mars, land, set up a portal, warp back, and then I can just kind of go to and fro, stop and go. That's what makes the world go round, after all. Um, so I need a Tier 2 rocket. We don't even need the storage if we can if we can operate under this assumption. So I've made the nose cone. I've made all of the heavy duty plates that I need, but those are tier one. For a tier two, you need tier two heavy duty plates. So I've made all of the, or I made the nose cone. I've made the rocket engine. I have made the four rocket fins. So the only thing that's holding me back is the tier one boosters and the tier two heavy plates. The reason for this is they both require compressed meteoric iron. I have everything else done including this stuff. So the compressed meteoric iron is made by a meteoric iron ingot, which is made by raw meteoric iron, which is done by... I meant to dump all this in the nether, by the way. Crud muffin. Um, let's just throw all that crap in there. I'll just throw that in there, too. So let me explain while I'm killing things. It might be more helpful. Oh my. Okay, so you have to do an exact copy for it to be wither, I guess. I did not think this through very well. Oh, I should put it in the grinder downstairs where I've already got a grinder set up. That would be... Wouldn't that just make so much sense? Alright, you know what? I'm all armored up. Banzai, you got nothing on me. What ah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, actually. I'm gonna take this and swap it out for the um the blazes in the other one. Okay, close that. Um nope, I need that. Give me that. Throw all that crap in there. Put this back up here. Alright, good to go. <laughs> Full of holes. Um, so yeah, basically my goal here is that I want to... Now that I think about it, I need to grab a block that I can put in place. Let's use moon turf. Why the heck not? Okay. So basically, I just need to poke a hole like right here. Good enough for me. Um, spawn in an exact copy. And then we'll put that there, and that should just transfer everything to um, yeah. It should transfer everything to the whatchamacallit, the, the Tesseract storage system. Um, it won't give me as nearly as much um, XP, but I've kind of got that taken care of over there, as you can see. Um, so essentially, it's for like the 19th billionth time that, of me trying to explain this, you have to mine meteors on the moon to get meteoric iron ingots, which is what you need to make compressed iron ingots and build the rest of this tier 2 rocket and get to the Mars. Blah, 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 blah. In the meantime, I've also been told and read that there's, like, big bad things on the moon. So I figured I would set up this kind of thing, grab a wither skeleton, get some necrotic bones, and beef up our health a bit. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I think I have the rest of the stuff to kind of fix my guy up. Um, so we'll see. This is probably because it's set to exact. This is taking a lot longer than I was hoping it would. Oh, you know what the other thing is? Is the villager slash king slime farm over there is also pulling from that. That's not cool. Yeah, so who knows how long this will take. Um, what I'm thinking is I know there's at least one meteorite, right? Yeah, this is going to take a bit. 
I don't know if it'll, I don't think it'll actually stay going, but I'll AFK on that later. So that's one project that I'm working on in the background. And I have, let's, oops a daisy, I'm, I'm a derp. I was going to walk off and go get, really? The one time that I just randomly throw an egg. I was going to go to the moon without any of my gear. That is not a smart thing to do. Don't ever do that. So we need to be looking for... Oh, and I need to leave that here. I don't want to lose my blaze net. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to be looking for... Um, let me out. I hate these statues right here sometimes. They, they screw you up. Okay. Um, now... I don't remember if we had a process for finding meteorites. Here's meteor, fallen meteor. You have to dig it with at least a diamond, I think? But this might blow up in my face, which is highly possible. It looks like it's cracking, so I should be fine. I hope. Oh. What just, what just happened? Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's one. This is the problem. One of those makes one ingot. Kind of no matter how you slice it. One of the... Oh, come on. I'm trying to explain things here, you stupid zombie. Wow. This does not do as much damage as my my other weapon. I'm using this just on the off chance that I get killed. I won't lose any of my important stuff. So one to one on that and that makes one compressed ingot. So even the two here is making two. So it's still one to one. We need four per booster. So we need eight. And then we need two fives or ten. So we need ten because it requires one per each of those. So we need ten of those and eight for the booster. So we need a total of eighteen meteorite shards or uh, well, literally or. Uh, <laughs> like, ooh. Uh, world load. World hole. Can we see anything? Is there? Oh, dang it. It's actually loading in. Crud. I thought we might get lucky and, f and find a hole. So let's go over here real quick. I've never... Oh, there's another meteor. Need to clear out the... Clear out the trash. Oh, you got in my way. You doofus. So I think my health is glitching out here. Eh. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of these things. So we need a total of ten and eight, so we need eighteen. I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure that's the number I just came up with a minute ago. So we need eighteen of these. Well um I guess less now. But see the thing that I don't I don't know is if there's actual ore. Because let's let's take a peek here. The only way I see it is raw meteoric iron. And the only way I've ever seen on the wikis and stuff to find that is from, from fallen meteors, because it's meteoric. Ow, don't touch it. It lights you on fire. That was the thing. That's, that's what I forgot last time. I knew there was something you're not supposed to do with these. They burn. Okay, so we have three. We need 18, man. Or 15 now. Is that another one? Yes. Alright, so I'm just going to keep following this path, because there seems to be a significant amount of meteors in this vicinity. And if I had my faster pick, it would, for lack of a better term, go faster. Um, yeah, come here. Where'd it go? I can't see. Where'd it go? There it is. Four. Alright, so that's not too bad. Let's. I'm just going to keep going this way then. See if I can find some more. There's another one. Okay, this might not take as long as I thought. I thought this was going to take forever. 
So, what I might do... Oh, did you see all those, like, bajillion hits that I got on in? Oh! So what I, might, what I might do is a couple of people have mentioned in the comments... I'm going to talk at you a minute, as, as b double would say. I'm going to talk at you a minute. Um, a couple of people in the comments and such have mentioned... Um, uh, stopping with the uh, the B team pack and going to the crack pack now that it's out because at the time the crack pack um, for the Minecraft group for Feed the Beast or whatever well I don't know if it's technically considered Feed the Beast anymore or if it's its own thing it might just be considered the crack pack now um, but anyways because I don't think it's part of the Feed the Beast launcher and it, 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 whatever you know you all know what I'm talking about if you're watching Attack of the B team for the modded Minecraft you know about the crack pack just it's kind of a no-brainer I didn't pick that up did I did I I did yeah I don't see it anywhere so a few people have mentioned switching like we should switch from the attack of the B team to the crack pack um, I've talked it over with uh, both Adrian Wanafly and bass player um, Bass, bass player is really into vanilla right now because of the um, uh, the t conversations and prospects of their of the 1.8 vanilla Minecraft coming out. Um, personally, I haven't looked at the patch notes, so I don't know what all's going on. I've heard they're adding the new underwater mob and something else. There's like underwater temples or something, but I don't know if that's it or if they're doing like bigger stuff. Um, and that's, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I never looked it up. But he's kind of really into that one right now. He's, he's really into the vanilla. Um, and probably he's, he's kind of said that if we switched packs, he doesn't know if he'd play or not. Um, like, he'll be on the server, obviously, but he doesn't know how often he'll be on because he's just really into vanilla right now, which is fine. No, no biggie. Um, Adrian has said he doesn't care if we switch packs or not, so for us... Oh, look, a flower. A flower that grows on the moon. It's like the only flower. That's got to be... Is that a species difference? Sorry, ADD. Bluebells. I don't know if that's a different... I think that's the normal flowers. Weird. Um, apparently there's oxygen right there. Um, so yeah, basically we've been discussing whether or not we wanted to switch to the crack pack, whether or not we wanted to um, switch back over and do like a vanilla series, or, you know, or what type of thing. Um, and personally, I've been contemplating with whether or not I should just temporarily, um, I don't think I could ever just not do any more, ever, uh, but temporarily, as, as much stuff has been going on on my channel, busy-wise, like, there's just a lot of different series I'm running, um, I've personally thought about whether or not I should just stop altogether for, for Minecraft at the moment and fit in something else that people have been wanting to see. Um, that I haven't had any openings in my schedule for. Stuff like that. Um, so essentially, what I would like from you guys, my viewers, my subscribers and all that, is to let me know what you would like to see. Do you want to continue with the Attack of the B-Team pack, go over to the Crack pack, or like um, do another vanilla series. The only thing with the other vanilla, vanilla Minecraft, is that we don't know when 1.8 is going to happen. That's the only problem I see with that. I would like to wait until 1.8 comes out so it's kind of like we can show off all the new gadgets and gizmos and whatever they add. And if we wait for the that to happen, I don't know when it'll happen. That's, that's the only problem I see with switching back to vanilla. Um, so... That's an option, but I don't know how good of an option it is. So, pretty much there's th three options? Four options. Four options that I see, and that is continuing with Attack of the B-Team, 
Um, switching to crack pack. Trying to either start a vanilla or wait till the patch and start then, but go back to like a vanilla Minecraft. Or do another totally different game that I haven't played or something like that. Um, uh, things of that nature. Because, I mean, it's the nature of YouTube. It's constantly evolving. You're always doing things. And Minecraft especially goes through waves. Um, Minecraft, the Minecraft group, has just done another wave where they all went through um, a bunch of... Everybody was doing mods, and then they just did a map reset and started doing vanilla again. So, I mean, there's... Is that a dragon? Why is there a dragon? Did Adrian bring a dragon up here and then leave it? Okay, I'm afraid to touch that thing because it's not mine. So it's going to like kill me or something because I looked at it wrong. Um, but so yeah, I mean, they just went through a phase like that themselves where they had been doing... Um, modded Minecraft a lot, but they switched over and did a vanilla map reset, so now everybody's kind of doing that at the moment. Um, and they'll, they'll go through a wave where after, you know, a lot of episodes on the, on the new map, they'll start doing mods again. You know, it, it's just, it's just the way Minecraft works, I think, that you just kind of go through these waves of vanilla gets new stuff, so everybody's into vanilla, um, you know, then the mod packs do new mod packs, and so everybody's into that. You know, I don't, I don't really think that it's ever going to change. Like that, I think that's kind of just how Minecraft works, um, or at least the people that play Minecraft all feel the same way, kind of thing. From from what I've experienced, everybody kind of thinks that way. So, um, but yeah, it, it, I really wasn't paying attention to it. I was just kind of doing, you know, the Attack of the B Team stuff. And a couple people commented on, you know, switching over to Crack Pack and stuff like that. And it kind of got me thinking, like, hmm, maybe it is time for a change. Maybe it's time to do something. I do, I will say, I'm going to do at least one more episode because whether we switch or don't switch... Well, no, let me rephrase. Whether we switch to Crack Pack or switch to um, Vanilla or something altogether different... Um, none of anything else, I think, has Galacticraft. If I've looked at the notes on Crack Pack and stuff correctly, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have Galacticraft. That being the case, I'd like to go to Mars at least in one episode. So we've just, in our talk, while we've been talking, while I've been chit-chatting, um, actually, that would have been a perfect live stream situation where I could just talk at you while I'm mining. Um, but we picked up enough ore, which I was really surprised at, by the way. I did not think that would go that fast. Um, but whatever. So we've got enough ore to make the rocket now, basically. I've got what I need to make the rocket. Um, and in fact, I think we might have enough time that I can just make it um, before we go. Before I end the episode, I need this, 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 this. There we go. Um, yeah, meteoric iron ingot. Awesome. So yeah, um, I'd like to at least go to uh, Mars, whether we set up a huge base or, you know, I would like to, I think, since we have the ship, I'm thinking that in between, or maybe we'll just do a cut and paste, um, or, or like cut and transition, but I'm thinking what I'll do is, uh, next episode, I'll go to Mars, set up a portal, and then, uh, if I can get with Adrian and bass player, we'll all go try and find the, the creeper boss thing or whatever, I'll have to, yeah, because Adrian's read up on Galacticraft, I don't know what I'm doing on Galacticraft, to be honest, uh, he was kind of our resident galactic expert. Um, so I'll probably try and get with him and see uh, when or, or how we go about doing that. Um, there we go. And when that happens, then kind of like, especially if that was, if, if it was, if it's decided, like if you guys leave comments, no, no, keep doing the Attack of the B-Team pack, that's fine. You know, I'll, I'm the viewers on YouTube is kind of what makes the YouTuber, in my opinion. That if your viewers aren't 
like happy with what you're doing and they're all bored and not watching your content then you know you're not doing well if everyone likes what you're doing then it's worth doing so you know if everybody's like switch or don't switch then you know i'm, I'm kind of open to whatever I, i'm not really worried about it um i just want to make sure everybody's enjoying their you know their viewing episodes and not like oh this is so boring this is another one of this pack you know I'm I'm really into Crack Pack right now, so I want to watch more episodes on that. You know, I don't mind. I'll, I'll do whatever. And I've had a couple of people mention different games that I just didn't have an opportunity to do. Um, I was like, my schedule's full. I'm already doing two episodes a day, so I'm kind of like, I don't have a place to put this right now. Um, but, that being said, you know, I'm open to suggestions. I actually would like suggestions at this per- particular junction as to what you guys want to see, what you're looking for, things like that. Um, But if we don't switch and we stay on Attack of the B-Team pack, it's not a big deal. If we do, then I'm at least going to do like one more episode where we go to the moon, or to Mars, not the moon, and like really try to find the, uh, the epic creeper boss guy, stuff like that, and try and see all there is to see on Mars before we you know, end up stopping. So, that's probably how I'll do that. Does it need... There we go. So we got two boosters. Oh, 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 I've got to put these in the compressor again. There we go. And this will make our heavy-duty plates, and then we should have enough that I can make the rocket. <clears throat> but, so yeah, that's kind of where my head's at right now, as far as um, what I'm thinking, what I'm pondering, and so, I know this was kind of a talky episode, um, wasn't really like, you know, cutting out the tedious stuff and getting more done, I was kind of using the tedium to, to voice my, my thoughts on where we're headed with this series and what could take its place, things like that. So, um, I... Wait a minute. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm... Never mind. (laughs) I saw four and I was running out of stuff and I'm like, wait, I didn't... I momentarily had a brain fart and didn't realize it was making double plates. Alright. So let's come down here. Oop. Ah, dadgummit. Dang it. (laughs) I can't jump here. I need to fix that hole. Alright. So we got our NASA workbench. Rocket tier. Stage 2. What is this sparkly stuff going on here? Oh, it's supposed to be like etching it, I guess. Maybe. Boom! Oh, this is very cramped space. Let's, let's not do this in here. Alright. Let's get out here where it's more open. And... Da, 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 da. Tier 2 rocket. What? That actually looks pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to use this puppy next episode one way or another, regardless of status of this series, whatever. But do let me know what you think in the comments, um, what you would like to see, whether we stay on this pack, switch to another mod pack, go back to vanilla, or just do something else completely entirely and say, you know, hiatus for Minecraft series at the moment. You know, I'm, I'm open. I'll do whatever. I, I, I'm here to entertain my viewers. So, it's all up to you guys. Uh, but do let me know what you think. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.